how do you master pandas? <laughs> what should be the essential steps uh, to be taken to get to that level? Yeah. I mean, highly biased, right? Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, maybe I'll, I'll just give general points rather than just say, read my book and, and do that. But um, uh, um, one thing that you need to be aware of is that from my point of view, uh, like after I wrote my first book about pandas, and, and I think it, when someone geeks out on something, all of us have things that we geek out on. It might be skiing or it might be like pandas or it might be whatever, but you, you tend to like study up on that or you tend, if you, and my phone like pops up anything that has pandas. It's like, eh, here's 50 medium articles about pandas for the last week. <laughs> and so I might scroll through those. So a lot of what you see in that is regurgitated content. And a lot of that is bad regurgitated content. So that, that again, that's, part of the reason why I put my book out there because there's a lot of like people who want to start blogging and that they kind of don't know what they're doing. So they start writing blog posts. It's like, okay, how to use pandas. But the content they put out is, is actually not good advice. So I, I would recommend trying to go to a more authoritative source rather than just random blog posts. So that might be a book like mine. It might be taking a course. It might be going to the, the pandas documentation as well. Um, to to get sort of best practices uh, from experience rather than just uh, sort of blind teaching the blind. So, but again, it, it comes back to practicing. Um, and and so it, if you just read about it, I, I think most people's brains are going to forget about it unless they do some sort of uh, space repetition to keep it in there. So the science tells us that if you practice it you and physically type it out, you're going to make different connections with your brain and you will remember it better. So, so um, get good uh, information, practice it, and then don't be afraid to uh, revisit it or review it or share it with others. Uh, so you might have, you know, um, we talked about the importance of a mentor, someone who can uh, guide you. And so, and don't be afraid to ask for feedback on that from someone who's who's more experienced as well. 